Welcome, welcome everyone. My name is Sean, and today we got to talk about Jenks' nephew and the stresses of his job. Because Jenks' nephew, if you guys are unaware, is the number one political streamer on Twitch. As per the Twitch leaks from a few years ago, he makes about $200,000 a month just from Twitch income, not counting his separate podcasts, his merchandise, and all of that. And I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but the commute from his bedroom to his office in his $3 million West Hollywood mansion with the pool is very stressful and it drains his social battery so we got to talk about the fact that he's really mad that this clip went viral and people are not sympathizing enough with him now before we get into that i want to say thank you to everybody signed up over an actual justice warrior.com slash join give me the money give you give me the money okay and thank you to the podcast listeners spotify apple and google's podcasting platform yes a real job can be gruesome a real job can make you very tired, but a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you. You know what I mean? In the same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will. So... Now, that is the viral portion of the clip right there where he's talking about how his social battery is being drained and his soul is being sucked. And it's so much harsher than when you're working a regular, ordinary job. You guys out there in the audience just don't get it. And it's funny because he actually is starting to get pushback from his own audience in the broader context, which, by the way, I will be showing you the broader context as presented by Jenks' nephew because contrary to what his audience will tell you, it doesn't help him at all whatsoever. It actually makes it significantly worse, and it's just meant to make you feel so sad because Jenks' nephew streams for nine hours a day, and it's really stressful on his social battery. Won't you think of Jenks' nephew's social battery? How will this guy, who flew private on a private jet to Coachella recently, deal with the fact that his social battery is just so drained? Oh my god, it's so sad. I mean, maybe, just maybe, he'll have to drive around the block on his $200,000 port a couple more times in order to cope with the fact that his social battery is just unbelievably limited. Now, to be clear, there are a number of reasons why Jenks Nephew is not deserving of any sympathy at all whatsoever. First and foremost, the guy's a communist, the guy's a socialist, and he does not extend that sympathy to other people who own businesses who actually need to put in those hours in order to make their lives work successful. In fact, he thinks that he is better than those people, like all socialists do, better than the average person and he should be in charge of the government he should be in charge of the economy because he knows better than you about the decisions that you should make for your own life i've seen a lot of people talk about how jenks nephew is a fake communist or fake socialist when in reality in actuality nothing is a better example of the socialist attitude than what he presents all the time he is above you you don't think that you can be able to control the economy and know better than all the experts and all the individuals making decisions on their own without incredible hubris and this is perfect on display and the second one is far more grounded it's because like me and other content creators who are self-employed not people working for companies we largely make our own schedule so when Jenks nephew says oh my god the hardship of streaming nine hours a day but a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you you know what I mean in the same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will People who aren't idiots realize that that is a completely self-imposed schedule and he doesn't have to do nine hours a day if he doesn't want to, if he doesn't want to make that additional revenue. And by the way, he doesn't need it. Again, as per the Twitch leaks from a couple of years ago, he pulls in $200,000 a month. If the strain on his social battery was so much and such a difficult hardship to deal with, he could stream for four hours a day, three hours a day, and honestly, he wouldn't even lose a proportional percentage percentage of his income for cutting back by any of that amount. That is not true for the majority of people out there in the audience. If you decide that you're going to work half as much, you are probably going to get fired, let alone make half as much money. So the idea that Jenks' nephew's life is so hard based on this self-imposed schedule that he did to himself is not something that is going to garner sympathy from the broader public, again, especially when he's a multimillionaire. Like recently on this channel, I decided that I was going to try to do two videos a day. And yes, it's time-consuming. Yes, if you guys are 
subscribed on Patreon, on Subscribestar, YouTube members, or on my website, and you get early access to the videos, you know I've been posting videos at 2.33 in the morning. But do you see me coming out here and complaining about something that I imposed on myself, a challenge that I put forward for myself? No. And by the way, some of these videos take hours to edit, and I don't complain because, again, if it was a problem, I would just, you know, not do it or I would do less of it and I would be perfectly fine. What kind of a jerk comes out and says, wow, this thing that I chose to do because it makes me more money, it's stressful. And honestly, it's more stressful than you guys out there in the audience who can't amp your effort, put in more hours, and exponentially grow your income in the way that we can. Now, a lot of people say, Hey, Sean, listen, there's more context to this clip. The context really saves Jenks' nephew, but in reality, the context doesn't. It makes it significantly worse. So let's play from his own Twitter the supposedly saving grace context that he wanted to put out there for you. So first of all, his tweet, it is wild how this completely out of context clip made its way to Twitter so fast. I was talking about how much a nine hour stream eats away at my social battery and how I can't socialize after comparing it to my sales job before. I recognize how fortunate I am every day. No, 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 no. Social battery wise, unless you're in retail, unless you're in fucking retail, it's very different. You're out of touch. I'm going to die, dude. There's motherfuckers who are accountants in here and they're misunderstanding what I'm saying. A real job does not expend your social battery in the same fucking way as someone who did a sales job, a real job. Okay. I'm telling you, as someone who did, did both, like, nine hours of, of constant performance and people-pleasing taps you out from social scenarios. You see, he said, unless you're doing retail, you just don't understand the struggle that he's going through. And all these people who are stupid accountants working with numbers all day that have bosses, maybe you work at a large firm, all those stresses are not the same and they don't drain your social battery the same way him performing does. Now, performing is an interesting way to describe what Jenks nephew does where he watches other people's videos and then leaves to go to the bathroom or eats food or sometimes actually has his editor or edit in a fake Jake's nephew because he's been criticized for this so many times. But I find it kind of interesting that this is the saving grace context, that it's his social battery, which again, he can ameliorate this problem himself by just streaming less hours during the day. It is pure, unfiltered, unbridled greed that makes him get on for this much longer because as discussed before, if he cut back, he is not even likely to lose that much money by doing so. But to make matters worse, not only is Jenks' nephew unsympathetic to the general population, to you guys out there in the audience who don't have the opportunity to make as much money as he does just by staying on stream and begging for donations while playing other people's videos, but he's also very unsympathetic, in my view, to a lot of content creators. Now, there are streamers that have defended him and said, oh my god, streaming is so hard, you guys don't even realize it, but the thing is, one of the hardest parts about being an online content creator is building your audience. Audience. But Jenks' nephew never actually had to do that in the way that most of us did. Remember, he started his career working for his uncle. That's why he's Jenks' nephew at the Young Turks, one of the largest online political media shows in existence. And it was huge back then, despite the fact that Jenks' nephew tries to downplay it now. At the time, uh, you guys probably know this, but if you don't, my uncle has a YouTube channel mm -hmm. called the Young Turks. It was like a 26 person shop it was like a you know tiny operation not that big mm -hmm. not that media behemoth yeah. or anything um so i was like yeah i'll just go work with him do an internship with him and i'll live in la and I'll study for the LSATs with, I had no interest in studying for the LSATs. <laughs> On top of that, that sales job that he had, that was also at the Young Turks. They basically invented a position for him while his parents were subsidizing his living in Los Angeles because he was supposed to be taking the LSATs. So he had no risk really in going into this field because even if he never succeeded on his own as a content creator, he could always have the opportunity to go on air at his uncle's network and make a decent enough living at that <laughs> you know um so i was always like trying to move the audience from tyt properties to something that i own like 
you know, my Instagram. Yeah. They were not too fond of that. I mean, quite literally, his strategy was to take the over a million plus subscribers over at the Young Turks at the time that he started there, multi-millions at the time that he was still there, and funnel them over to his Twitch in order to give him a head start while simultaneously using his connections as Jank's nephew to get a bunch of prominent guests on his show so that he could launch his career faster than the average person. Now, if you want to contrast that to me, one of the hardest things that I had to do when I had no job, no income. In fact, I was in debt because my first job out of college, my supposed dream job, was not paying me, so I ended up going into debt just to commute to work, was to build an audience from absolutely nothing, and getting those first 1,000 subscribers is the most difficult part, make no mistake about it. But for Jenks' nephew, he never had to experience that. He never had to experience that stress. This is a rich trust fund brat who grew up riding horses and playing polo in Turkey. Turkey, while his dad was a VP of a multinational corporation lobbying the Turkish government and lobbying the EU government. So even the regular ordinary struggles of a content creator coming up through the system is not something that this guy actually ever experienced. So the idea that I'm going to be sympathetic to him now, even from the content creation side, for a self-imposed schedule that he doesn't have to do when he started out on third base is ridiculous and absurd. And by the way, the more content because there's more to this clip is still not going to make it better but i'll play it for you guys out there in the audience anyway and you tell me if this makes you sympathetic for jenks nephew in his sad sad life after nine hours of that i could probably do fucking physical labor it would not bother me but i can't fucking do more social sh that's my point. Yeah, as you see, after nine hours of streaming, putting in the grind, a self-imposed schedule, he could probably do manual labor. He could probably do construction. Honestly, he's probably better than you guys out there in the audience who actually work construction, who have to deal with all the injuries and the wear and tear on your body, but it's just so much more difficult for him to be social afterwards, to get on a private jet and go to Coachella if he streams for nine hours a day, even though, again, there's no reason at all whatsoever that he needs to do that he's only doing that to maximize the amount of money that he could make it's a self-imposed schedule but gosh his, his social battery don't you feel bad for jenks nephew's social battery like there are obviously real jobs out there that are good comparisons service sector people pleasing jobs would be very similar those are like i think customer service type sh so he says there's obviously comparisons to the drain on your social battery. You know, if you're like in service, if you're like a server and you have to wait tables for 10 hours a day, you know, for a boss, hoping for some tips to making that sub minimum wage, then maybe just maybe you can understand how Jenks nephew is feeling. Maybe you could relate to him and his struggle. This is so ridiculous and absurd. And again, remember, the money definitely does compensate for the stresses that he's dealing with, even as limited as they actually are, because you can make way more money streaming for donations than you can at a restaurant where you're dependent on the quality of the restaurant in order to draw customers in, and when you're dependent on tips. So all of those servers can put in all of that social effort, actually perform, actually do a good job, actually put in the work, unlike Jenks' nephew, who plays a video while he eats, and they still might not necessarily reap the rewards from that work. Jenks' nephew is all but guaranteed to get donations. In fact, he has an entire system set up where people can donate to him without actually spending any money as long as they have an Amazon Prime account. So this guy makes money that doesn't even cost the customer anything on his Twitch channel, and he's complaining right now. That is a thing that is happening at this moment, and he's comparing himself to a server, and remember, this is the context that he tweeted out. This is the context that makes it better. This is the context that totally excuses his whining and bitching and moaning about how his sad sack life is so hard, being a multi-millionaire in a mansion, commuting again to his office from his bedroom. But like, if you're an accountant, or if you're even like in sales, my interactions with clients was limited, way more limited than like constantly having to do this for nine hours with like a back and forth interaction for nine hours. That's what, that's what like sucks 
your your social battery and you just tap out after it. Again, guys, you don't understand. It's nine hours. It's nine hours. And it just it's just an interaction and it just drains his social battery. Don't don't you get it? It's a nine hour interaction that just it's so draining on him. And if only if only Jenks nephew could do something about it. If only Jenks nephew was in control of his own schedule and he could stream for like five hours, then maybe his social battery would be about, you know, a third to even halfway full by the time he ends the stream. If only that were the case, if only he had more control over his own destiny, but in reality, in actuality, he's just a victim of circumstances. You know, he didn't choose to be born into a wealthy Turkish family. He didn't choose to have his uncle start a successful media company. He didn't choose for that to lead to him not having to go through the grind on Twitch. None of that was his choice. It, it's all a struggle, and honestly, it's hoisted upon him, and you guys out there in Jenks Nephew's audience, you expect way too much of him, and you're just draining his social battery, and you really need to think about Jenks Nephew's social battery. I mean, really, guys, like, why are you thinking about your own problems, paying rent, trying to eat? What, what's wrong with you? You got medical conditions? Are you kidding me? Tell your cancer that Jenks Nephew's social battery is more important, and shut your face. Maybe if you're a waiter, maybe if you're a server, you kind of understand what he's going through, but in reality, in actuality, you're a dirty server who could probably move on with your life anyway, and you just don't get what's going on with Jenks' nephew and his social battery. I, I mean, come on, guys. Yeah, think about it this way. Like, um, you give presentations for your job, right? Imagine giving a presentation for nine hours straight. It's like, after a while, you would be like, I don't want to talk ever again. <laughs> By the way, this is the end of the clip. This is the end of the Jenks nephew context clip that he posted where he's like, you know, it's like if you give a presentation at your job and imagine you had to give that presentation for nine hours straight. Now, by the way, when you give a presentation at your job, usually it's because you need to do that. And if you mess up that presentation, you'll get fired. Those are stresses that will be added on you. You also have to do prep and work ahead of time, which Jenks nephew doesn't do. He doesn't understand what he's talking about, doesn't read the full articles, doesn't and watch the full video as documented by a bunch of other creators but more importantly you could not land an account you could potentially get fired for a bad presentation but jenks nephew doesn't have any consequences for his piss poor performance on live stream no matter how ill-informed he is on any particular issue that he covers so it's kind of like when you have to do a presentation at work except it involves none of the prep that you have to put in it involves none of the stakes that you have to deal with and of course he gets paid a ton more money whether he fails at this presentation or whether he succeeds so it's kind of like the exact same thing as you guys do who have to do presentations at your work but but way more way way more difficult way more way more stressful way more social battery draining why can't you just understand and be sympathetic to jank's nephew look these people are absolutely unbelievable out of touch doesn't even begin to start to describe what we're talking about and again i'm not saying that there are no stresses for being a content creator but when you're at that level and you're making that much money you can invest that money and quit at any time. He could retire right now at age 32 and he would be fine for the rest of his life if he just put his money in not even any kind of complicated assets, but in index funds. He could say, look, I'm taking a dramatic break and then scale back his production, only do it once or even twice a week, and he'll get more viewers in the two days that he's streaming rather than the nine hours streaming each and every day. And they'll be more excited to see him and donate more because he's at that particular level. And I don't think a lot of people understand that. Everything he's saying is not real. And as somebody who works in content creation, I'm telling you straight up, that is the case. The idea that he has to do the nine hours and drain his social battery, he made that up. The idea that his job is like a presentation or like being a server or any of those other things, he made that up. He's just complaining because the money didn't bring him happiness. He's just complaining because that's what entitled brats, perpetual children like him tend to do. So yeah, to all you Jenks nephew simps out there in the audience who are telling me that there's additional context, there's always more context with him and I just didn't put it in or whatever. This is what was tweeted out by Jenks nephew. This was the context that he said, excuse the earlier clip. And again, it doesn't make it better. He's just completely out of touch. Now for those people who are dumb and saying he's a fake socialist or fake communist, this is is how these people actually are. He is perfectly representative of that ideology. Those are the ideologies.
ideologies of the elite. And again, he's somebody who thinks that he is more important, more relevant than he actually is, and more importantly, that he knows better than all of you out there in the audience. Because remember, he worked a sales job that his uncle also gifted to him, and that really showed him what stress actually means. And by the way, for those of you who are still saying, Sean, you're being so harsh and all that, I just want to point out that CEOs, a group of people that Jenks nephew wants to criticize all the time, work really long hours. If you look at what they actually do, they essentially sacrifice their entire lives for decades at a time in order to get to the position where they could be CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. They grind all of that time in that hyper-competitive world in order to get to those top positions in order to make that big amount of money that they end up pulling in. And does Jenks nephew extend more? more sympathy to those people who actually put in the hours, which by the way is backed up by all the studies and data, that's what it takes, or does he say, oh, those rich jerks at the end when they're making money, those guys are total losers and they don't do anything for the company. I'm being more sympathetic to Jenks Nephew talking about how there is some work that goes into streaming than Jenks Nephew has ever been to people who are in similar positions to him or people who put in all that work and never make it to the point where they could be that successful but hey those are just my thoughts let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if you like the video show my leaving a like subscribe for more content follow me on my social medias support me via the support links in the description of this video this has been me talking about jenks nephew whining like a baby till next time